The fallout from the failed drugs test of the Russian skater Kamilia Valieva rumbles on. The 15-year-old was allowed to compete in the individual women's figure skating at the Beijing Olympics pending an appeal, but she came fourth. The president of the International Olympic Committee, Thomas Bach, uh, watched her performance and had this reaction. When I afterwards saw how she was received by her closest entourage with uh, such a what appeared to be a, a tremendous coldness. You, 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 uh, it was chilling uh, to, 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 see, to see this, rather than uh, giving her comfort, uh, rather than to, to try to, to help her. You, you, you could feel this chilling atmosphere. Well, here's our sports reporter, Laura Scott, on the reaction of Thomas Bach's comment about Valieva. A lot of us that were listening to Thomas Bach talk this morning during a lengthy press conference were quite surprised by how frank and open and personal uh, he was about the situation regarding Camila Valieva. He called it a very sad situation. He said it was very disturbing. And for the International Olympic Committee president to say an event during the Games is very disturbing just goes to show how problematic this whole situation has become. And it isn't over just because Camila Valieva's Olympics is over. Last night, it was incredibly difficult to watch as this error-strewn performance on the ice, on the biggest stage of all, meant that she dropped from first place to fourth. She broke down in tears. And you heard there Thomas Bach talking about Valieva's coach and the reaction she got when she came off the ice. What he was referring to are comments made by a Terry Tuparizzi, who is Valieva's coach, who said to her, why did you stop fighting? Those were some of the first words she said to her young athlete as she came off the ice. Many people found that very troubling and you heard Thomas Bark saying there he found it chilling to watch and we know that there will now be an investigation by the World Anti-Doping Agency into Valieva's entourage. But clearly the concerns go more widely than this anti-doping case and the treatment of a young athlete. But yes, what we heard today from Thomas Bach was that he has found the situation very sad. He was asked several times about the IOC's role in all of this. Could it have done more to protect a young athlete? And he simply said they challenged it. They didn't want her to compete, but they lost their court case with the Court of Arbitration for Sport. And they felt they had to respect the court of law.